So tell me what is a cash budget? Uh, it shows the uh, the thing future cash inflow and cash outflow, net cash flows What basically. is a future cash inflow and future cash outflow? Can you tell me why do you prepare a cash budget? What? Why do you prepare a cash budget? So, Miss, they know where the money is being gone. They know where the money is gone, how much money you need, how much money you don't need. So cash budget is just like a cash flow which shows the receipts under one heading. The receipts will be under the heading of cash inflow. Yeah. From that, you will subtract your cash outflow. Yeah. So from your cash inflow, when you are subtracting your cash outflow, you get something which is called the net cash flow. Yes. In that net cash flow, you will add your opening balance. Okay, this is the balance brought forward. You bringing it forward from the last year or balance brought down. So what you get is your balance closed down. Okay, so how yeah. do you get the net cash flow? Yes, you do your cash inflow and your cash outflow. Uh, you subtract inflow them. minus the outflow. So all the inflows will come under one heading. All the outflows will come under one heading. Net cash flow. In that, you add your opening balance. You will get the closing balance. Yeah. So this is how the format looks like. The format tells you inflow, outflow. Inflow yeah. minus outflow, net cash flow. Add the opening balance, you will get the closing balance. Are you with me? Yes. So this is the sum that we have. And you have to calculate inflow. You have to calculate outflow. And then you will have to prepare the cash budget. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, fine. Let's go ahead. Read. Okay. Poppy Patel plans to open a market stall next year selling dried flowers. At the start of the year, she has no money in her business bank account. She will pay £100 into her business bank account during the first week of January. Okay, tell me first one thing. This £100 that she is introducing in January, is it cash inflow or outflow? Uh, it's a considered inflow. Miss. All the inflow I will highlight in yellow, okay? And okay. all the outflow I will highlight in green. Okay. Okay. Come on. So this is an inflow of cash. 100 mm. pound is going to come into her business bank account. And this inflow will be named as what? Capital. Are you with me? Yeah. Read ahead. She, est she estimates that 70% of sales will be for cash and 30% of sales will be paid for one month after the sale. Okay. That means whenever she is going to sell, 70% is going to come immediately. Hmm. Okay. So whatever she is going to sell, 70% will come immediately and 30% will come next month. Now just understand that when you are doing the sales, you will immediately record 30, 70, 30, 70, 30, hmm. 70 like that. Yeah. Okay. So from the 400, so sales are forecast to average 400 a month for the first three months. Poppy then forecasts an increase in sales of 50%. This one off increase in sales will last for the next six months. Okay. So you so know this for... is inflow? Yes. You know this is inflow, and we will yes. deal with inflow accordingly. So we have how many months? Uh, three months, 400. Now, what, what months we have? Oh. Uh, next year. Uh, does anything? So January. Oh, where is Jan written? Uh, miss, uh, she puts in 100 pounds into her bank account in the first week of January. Okay. So, Jan, Feb, March, April. I hope you do it with me, okay? May yeah, I am doing it. So, we have this with us. Jan, Feb, March. April, May and June. Are you with me? Yeah. Do the sales part first. Sales. Yeah. What is the sales forecast to be? 
January, February, March, two eighty, two eighty, two eighty. Jan, Feb, March, four hundred, right? Yes, four hundred, but uh, thirty seventy. So seventy percent will be received immediately. Yes, so the cash inflow will be uh two eighty okay. for the first three months. Okay, so I will write first is capital. Yes, hundred. Capital is coming in January, right? Yes. Then there is cash sales. Hmm. Cash sales first three months two eighty, two eighty, and two eighty. Yep. Okay. Then thirty percent you will receive next month, right? Yeah, credit sales. Credit sales. For this two eighty one twenty you will receive here. Yeah. For this two eighty one twenty you will receive here. Hmm. And for this two eighty one twenty you will receive here. Yep. Is it done? Yeah. Then what is please? So uh, is increase is fifty percent. So it will be uh two hundred plus. It will be like six hundred. So four hundred was the sale. So it will be six hundred and seventy percent of six hundred is. Hmm. Percent of fifty percent. So that means six hundred. Yeah, that's good. So seventy percent of six hundred will be four twenty. That will be cash sale. Four twenty. Cash sales four twenty yeah. for how many months? Uh, for the next six months, right? Yeah. So for six months. Yeah. Four twenty. Only three percent, right? Three percent. Uh, three months more. Seventy percent of it is how much? Four twenty. Yeah. Four twenty, four twenty, and four twenty. Thirty percent of this will be how much? Thirty percent of it, four twenty, eighty, uh, one hmm? eighty. I think yeah. Okay, one eighty. Yeah. So one eighty. So you will add. Uh, one eighty. Yeah. yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Cash sales and credit sales. Yeah. Okay, fine. Read ahead. Okay. Uh, the cost of the flowers and other materials will be fifty percent of the monthly sales figure. Okay, that means this is what? Outflow. Outflow. Okay, fine. So I have inflow minus outflow. I will leave some line for the inflow because I don't know whether there, there will be any income. Oh no. But as soon as I read, I will write. Yeah. This is what you have to do. So this will be total inflows. Now we talk about cash outflow. How will the cash outflow be? Flowers. Cost of flowers, yeah. Flowers and other materials. I can basically write materials. We can write raw material. Yeah. Raw material. So it will be fifty percent of the monthly sales figure. So in this yes. month it was four hundred, four hundred, four hundred, and here it was six hundred, six hundred, six hundred, six hundred. Six hundred. So it'll be fifty. So cost will be two hundred each for the first three months and three hundred each for the first the next six months. Was fifty percent right? She has agreed month month credit with her suppliers. Okay. So that means in the first month, if she is going to buy, she is paying next month. In the second month. Hmm. So whatever she is going to buy in the first month, she will pay in the second month. So for this payment will be over here, right? Two hundred. For sales of January, payment for the raw material will be in February. Yep. Yeah. It'll, yeah, yeah. It'll go on until April. So for two hundred. And so this I will pay for Feb. Yeah. And this I April will pay will be for February. March. March. For April. April three hundred. June three hundred. May three hundred. Yeah. For April and May, this is happening. Okay, what else now? 
Okay. Uh, uh, okay. The flowers will be purchased on same as well. Okay. Uh, the rent of stall will be one thousand two hundred per annum. Rent Payable of stall quarterly. will be. Yeah. So if you divide it, it will become how much? Twelve hundred into four, four three. So three times. Now see, three rent twelve hundred per annum payable quarterly in advance. Three hundred. Of each quarter. Three hundred. Three hundred. I will pay in Jan. Yeah. Jan and Jan then May. March. May, right? Three April. May, right? Quarter means in a year four parts, right? Yeah, but it'll be on the first. So for Jan three months. Miss, but how? It's four months, right? Four, three, twelve. Three, four. What do means you divide the year in four parts? Yeah, yeah, three, four, three, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Jan three months, and for yeah. the second quarter payable in advance on the first day of each quarter. Advertisement. Advertising is costing four hundred in the first month, and then she will spend only twenty per month. Yeah. Yeah. These costs will be paid in the same month as they are incurred. Other expenses. Wait, miss. Wait, wait. I didn't read that. Advertising, yeah. So four hundred each month. No, only in the first. Only four hundred in the first month, and only twenty. Twenty. Okay. Other expenses will be dollar pound thirty per month for the first quarter. Hmm. So yeah. until January, February, March will be uh thirty, and then from April to June it will be fifty. Paid two months after the month in which it was incurred. Yeah. So January, February. Two months afterwards. So I will pay in March. Correct. Mm, March. How much will I pay? Thirty. Thirty. From and then you'll be fifty. May. What? First quarter. And then quarter, yeah. 50 per month. Yeah, so it's 50 from April. Hmm. And then for other expenses per month for the first quarter. And then dollar fifty per month. Yeah. Eight two months after the month in which they were incurred. So it's just 50, 50, 50, right? That's it. No other income. Dollar 30 will be for the first quarter. Per month for the first quarter, yeah. Per oh, month. okay. So, yeah. miss, it will be January, February, March itself. No, so for January, but... I will pay it in March. No, no, no. It's, I think. And in Feb and March, it is going to be 30, 30, 30. Yeah. But I will pay it after two months. So on April. Pay it two months after the month in which it was incurred. But I think that's only for the, the for same, January, right? I will pay. I will not pay in Feb March. I will pay in April. Hmm. For February, I will pay in May. May. For March, I will pay in June. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. January paid two months after. So January 30, 30, if 30. has gone, I will pay in March. No, for March, two. April, and May, June. So this will be March, April, and May. May. For Jan, I will pay in March. This is for February. Uh, April, uh, March, May. For March. And mm. for April. After the and first quarter, it is fifty dollars. Yeah, so then fifty from June. Okay. Okay, fifty is for which month? April. Yeah. Okay, because it's going to pay it after two, two months. months. Yeah. 
you are asked to prepare cash budget. So there was no inflow. So oh, there wasn't. No other inflow. Oh, okay. Okay. So I have yeah. inflow. I have outflow. Are you with me? Hmm. So I will do the total of inflow. I will get this total inflow. I will do the total of outflow. I will get total outflow. Then yeah. inflow minus outflow will give me net cash flow. Net cash flow, yes. No minus outflow will give me net cash flow. Inflow minus outflow, 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 net cash flow. Are you with me? Mm -mm. Then this is the opening cash balance. Yeah. I don't have opening cash balance. For the first month because there was no info. Yeah. And this is the closing. Yeah. Now understand, this will become yeah. closing. This closing will become opening. Yep. Then this will become closing. This closing will become the opening. Yeah. Then 150 minus 140, this will become closing. For the next month, this amount will be the opening. When this is becoming the closing for the next month, this amount becomes the opening. When this is the closing, it goes over here, it becomes the opening. And this is the closing cash balance. Are you with me? Yeah. Hmm. Always remember bank overdraft is a negative uh, number. Yes. Okay. And depreciation is a non-cash expenditure. Now after this is done, once you complete this sum, I want you to do this case study yourself. I will wait for you. 